goddamn jail. It's like mad girls. Everywhere, like filling out paperwork. And I'm actually getting outside to be called to go inside. Which is bad as hell, but. Yeah. So, tonight is the night before my breast augmentation. And I've been wanting to get my breasts done for a while. I never really done them because I didn't have the time or like I had the money, but I didn't have the time to heal, whatever the case may be. So today I went to my pre-op appointment at CP Cosmetics. And to be honest, it was not really a positive experience for me. Like I was supposed to do my breast augmentation with Dr. Freeman. And when I got there, they told me that he wasn't available and um, if he, if I want to still do my surgery with him, I had to pay more money. But I was paying for my surgery since the summertime. I just didn't do it yet. So if his prices increase, I feel like that doesn't have nothing to do with me. And I shouldn't have to pay more money after I already paid for my surgery. Nobody informed me. Like, I was reaching out to my parent, my, I said my parent coordinator. I was reaching out to the coordinator that they gave me for a while and she was never responding back to me like after i made my last payment she never reached back out to me she never called me nothing like after i sent the last payment that was like really the last time i heard from her so my pcp knew the documents that i needed for my pre-op like and the documents i needed to get cleared so he cleared me or whatever the case may be so I get there when I get there it's like two security guards like okay what do you need what do you need what do you need I was thinking I was at the bank that's how it was set up so I get in there like I can't lie the staff is very nice like they're not rude or anything they are nice when I got in there the first things that I bought when I came back there I got my surgical bra it just comes with two inside of it I also got my compression socks I'm glad you can't well, I'm about to open it so y'all can see it. But I think these cost me like $10. These are the compression socks. And um, let me show y'all what else I got. I got this. This is a band to put above your breast. So that way, um, instead of the implants being like in your neck, they could like go down. And you wear this for three to six weeks. I also got this. It's like a scarring extract gel, whatever. And it helps like stretch marks. It helps you not get stretch marks on your breast and stuff like that. So all of those things, plus, you know, when you get there, you have to have a mandatory COVID test and a drug test. And if you get clear from your PCP or whatever, wherever you go to the doctor, you don't have to pay for them to do that because you're already clear if you want to do your clearance with them i think it's like 500 dollars and up but i already got clear from my pcp so on all those items i spent 212 dollars and i feel like it was worth it because those are stuff you need so i got those things and then um you know like it was a really long day like my pre-op appointment was at one o'clock um, it is now nine o'clock and I left CG Cosmetics at eight o'clock and my pre-op was at one o'clock. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I was already aggravated because I was hungry and everything. But basically before surgery, you have to take a shower with this. And this is antibacterial, is it? Antibacterial soap. And basically it, I don't know, but after you take a shower with this the night before surgery, you cannot put on lotion, perfume, deodorant, or anything. And you have to take a really good shower with this. And then you cannot eat 10 to 12 hours before your surgery. So my surgery is for 10 a.m. tomorrow. And I can't eat after 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm a little bit upset about that. Um, I got my pre-op appointments. It's really simple. Like before surgery... Fasting for 12 hours prior to surgery, meaning nothing by mouth, no water, no food, no candy or gum, no coffee, no cigarettes, no jewelry, no piercings, no lotions, perfumes, deodorant powder, hair products, makeup, or aftershave. Shave your private areas if doing any of the following procedures. BBL, lipo, tummy tuck. Shower with antibacterial soap, loose fitting clothes, nothing that goes over your head, sweatsuit, outfit, zip up or button down shirt or jacket. Bring your garments and compression socks with you the day of surgery or breast Argument, all breast augmentation, please bring your surgical bras that zips down. 
Oh, wait, that zips or buttons in the front the day of surgery. No nail polish or acrylic nails or has to be able to take your oxygen levels. We will not be responsible for any of your personal belongings. Bring a companion on your surgery day or else your surgery will be canceled. So it says, please arrive to your surgery on time or late fee will be applied, $300 late fee. So for my breast augmentation, I paid 300, three, I said 300. I paid $3,000 and I was supposed to pay $1,500 extra dollars for a breast lift. But when I did my pre-op today, they was like, you know, you don't really need the breast lift. So I paid 3,000. And um, I'm gonna be doing my breast augmentation with Dr. Losin, Los, I don't know how to say his name, but I'm gonna be doing my surgery with him. I like the staff and stuff overall but cg cosmetics like it's a place to get quick surgery like you're in and you're out like it's not a place to i would say to get a serious surgery because the coordinators they don't reach back out to you once you're finished paying the money they don't hit you up they don't tell you what time's your surgery like you don't know nothing till your pre-op day so you can't even make arrangements or like set up a ride or nothing because you don't know what time is anything that you're doing so that's an issue like that's really really an issue and it makes me so annoyed because i already told my boyfriend like babe i'm going to surgery at 3 a.m you know just and that's not even the case i'm actually going to surgery at 10 a.m so all that pissed me the fuck off okay and i was waiting for so many fucking hours i started falling asleep and it's cold in there and like it was ladies outside saying they want their money back like trying to storm inside the door like seeing that before being serviced there i'm like this is all i needed to see like y'all y'all obviously are not doing something right because it's no reason why it's a lady that's about to get surgery and she's telling y'all that she wants her money back because y'all keep sending her back and forth across the street this way and that way they are a little unprofessional they're nice but nice is not professional like they're unprofessional like they told me that i had to pay more money to get the surgeon that was supposed to do my surgery because he happened to change his prices but if i already paid the new prices should not apply to me because i already paid for the surgery that i thought i would be receiving i literally had to fight to get this doctor because they were trying to give me the other one which i was not really feeling his work like i don't want a ba and my tits are still like you know like not looking really <laughs> It's not giving like, mm, like it's giving, uh, I don't really want that. So that's not really my style. Other than that, I feel like they was nice to me. They was very nice. No one was rude to me, but when they did tell me that the price changed, I felt like it was a kind of like, oh, well, like, oh, well, the price changed. Oh, well, like either you paying the money or pick a different surgeon because this is what we're doing. And if you're picking your surgeon, your surgery is going to be very late at night. I don't want to have surgery very late at night because how is my companion, my cousin, how is she going to fill the prescriptions when it's three o'clock in the morning getting my surgery? I don't want to get my surgery at that time. I want to get my surgery done in the morning time. So I went with another doctor and we're going to see how that comes out tomorrow. Okay, guys, so I am ready for surgery and I'm super nervous. I had this shower cap on. Wait, let me show y'all. Let me show you guys the fit. This is my compression socks and I'm naked under here and I'm nervous. This is what the room looks like that we'll be in when you're waiting for the doctor. It's cute and cozy. You're gonna put your phone and stuff like that in a bag like this and you can't bring your purse or anything. So you have to give all of that to the person who's picking you up before surgery. This is my little home health aid, my best friend. I'm in so much pain. I am in so much pain. I cannot even function right now. And my pills are going to be ready for 4 o'clock. I cannot even hold my phone. So my daughter is holding it. But yeah, this is worth it though. To turn it off. So I'm back earlier when I left surgery. I didn't really want to type anything or do anything. I didn't want to use my phone, nothing, because I was in a lot of pain. But Dr. Lawson, I don't know how to pronounce it. He is very good. He's very nice. You know, I was mad about them switching my doctor the last minute, but now I'm just like, okay, I totally understand what's going on. Even though I was in fear, I love the doctor. 
everyone there was overall really nice. It's just they change things so much that it becomes a little bit of an inconvenience for people. So that's the only thing I was really upset about. But I feel like he did a good job. They're still really high, like really high, like really, really high. And they didn't drop yet. I get to put on my band tomorrow when I go there. So in like three to six weeks, like they should be where they are supposed to be. And I feel like I could go from there. I'll do another video, like one month post-op and stuff like that. But if you're doing surgery with CG Cosmetic, I really highly recommend you pay for your surgery in full and you jump in there a week later. So that way it's not much that could change in a week. You're just already like on your way to do what you need to do. Other than that, like they was very good besides the sudden like change of my doctor, but I was happy with Dr. Lawson. Another thing I want like girls to know, especially petite girls, if you're getting a breast augmentation, I feel like you should definitely tell the doctor you want them high profile because you don't want them to be low. Like you want them to be high. Like they're gonna go down, but you don't want them to be in and be and come start off down because how are they gonna get higher? My caregiver, she was two thousand dollars, and she comes with she does the grocery shopping for you. She cooks you three meals a day plus snacks. She helps you take a shower. Well, I didn't get to the shower part yet because this is just my first day out. Um, she goes pick up the prescription for you, get it to you, help you lay down, help you get up, wipe your ass if she needs to. And I feel like that was the best option for me because my friends are so busy and wrapped up with their own lives, they wasn't able to come with me. So I feel like this was my best bet. I actually am traveling with my seven-year-old daughter, Kayla, and she's like looking after my daughter. Like, you know, every time she takes a walk, she brings my daughter with her. So I feel like if you're doing the surgery and you don't have friends, look into getting a private caregiver, companion, whatever the hell, whatever the crap they call them. Because that is the number one thing you need somebody to take care of you. Because you cannot leave the facility without someone picking you up. You can't leave by yourself and you can't sign in for surgery by yourself either. So that's very important. Um, walk with extra cash because CG likes to change a lot of things like so today is day three post-op from surgery yesterday i went to my follow-up appointment and they put on my band and i am pretty satisfied with my results dr lotion did my boobs and i really am happy about it um the band does put a little bit of pressure on my top but i'm fine with that because i just want them to go in i don't want them to be like in my neck so I'm definitely fine with that. I'm going to do another video when I'm one month post-op. But so far, so good. I love my results. The painkillers is helping me not be in so much pain. I don't really have much back pain. Um, I don't really have that much pain in my, um, in my arm anymore. The first day, my arm was hurting me really, really bad. And I felt like I was going to die. Um, I'm still wearing my compression socks because... I don't know, they said we gotta wear them, so I'm just following the rules. I am just over it. My caregiver, she was great. I feel like if anybody's going into surgery, BBL, BA, or whatever the case may be, I feel like if you don't have friends or family to go to, you should definitely look into a private caregiver because the lady that I have is great. Like, she literally cooks me three meals a day, snacks, supermarket, picked up my prescription, Pick me up from my um from my surgery, drop me to post op, all those things are included. So I definitely feel like everybody trying to get their body done should look into that. Because you don't want to inconvenience everybody because everybody gotta come together to take care of you when you could just hire one person and you'll be fine. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that. I'm gonna put her information in the little box, you know what I'm saying? So y'all could be contacting her if y'all going into surgery soon to have a private caretaker. And I know she's gonna give good sales because for five, for five days, let me see. Basically six days I had her and I only paid 2,000. So I feel like she definitely, definitely looked out. And I'm super happy with my results. I'll see you guys in one month when I do my one month post-op video. I hope that this video has helped anyone that's interested in having breast augmentation or any surgeries, especially at CG Cosmetics. I just wanted to give you guys the rundown and in and out. I was upset at first because I felt like everything was unorganized, but overall, I'm satisfied. I love Dr. Lawson. I would definitely go to him when I'm ready to get my BBL because he got the girls looking snatched, honey. 
So that's all for today.